Hello there, ladies and gents. It is I. Okay, just looked at the wrong camera. Hello there, ladies and gents. It is I, Mr. Evil Raccoon. Welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough. And on today's part, if I'm not mistaken, we are actually coming up to one of the final missions in the game. I could be wrong on that statement, so don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure in today's episode, we are about to have the choice to pick one of two endings in GTA 4. And unlike every other optional choice that we've done in the game, I actually will be showing you guys both endings, of course. But, again, I need to make sure, of course, that we actually are getting that choice. So before we actually, you know, do do any of that stuff, we need to actually go back and change our clothes. Don't know why I left the apartment without changing Nico's outfit. But I don't think we need the Dr. Scrubs anymore. I also did not hit the yellow objective marker. Thank you. Let me go back inside the apartment. I guess I gotta go the long way around. The long way. Because the game freaks out if I go anywhere else. Anyway, let's actually change our tops. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I don't think we're going to unfortunately have Sasha's outfit here. I think we're going to be stuck with like a default thing more than anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was very uncalled for. I apologize for making my uh, throat sound like it's going through a chiropractor's appointment. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll be all right. Nico, do you have anything better than just these lazy kind of pants? They do got some black track pants, I'll give you that. But the white shoes? Nah, we gotta change those. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now, do I have Nico's outfit? Or do I need to stick with that one? Looks like I'm gonna have to stick with that one. Yep, we're gonna have to stick with that one. But you know what? It's fine. We've got Nico's classic outfit on to do classic things in GTA 4. Now, we're actually waiting on a phone call, believe it or not, so... I'm waiting on a phone call from Mr. Pegorino, which I think it is right here. Nico, the shit has gone down. I need to see you. Come to the club in Tudor. All right, Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Yep, it is what I thought. So this is going to be probably the last episode I do on GTA 4, unless I change my mind and want to do other things. Uh, but don't quote me on that, okay? This could be the last episode. I'm not exactly sure. But it is what I thought. So, I need to actually do something before we go. And that thing that I need to do is I need to save the game. Because I need to have a save so we can actually go back and, uh... Well, first of all, make sure that we can actually, you know, inhale our clogged nose. You know how it is. But we gotta do this. And then we also need a save just so we can, you know, start up the other set of missions. But I'm going to try to do both of them in this episode and show you guys both endings because both endings actually have three different corresponding missions depending on what you choose to do in this mission itself. So we're actually going to go meet with Jimmy Pegarino and we're going to, again, we're going to see exactly what he wants to do or what he, wa what he wants us to do. Excuse me. Now, of course, me being me, I already know what he wants us to do, but I want to see if you guys know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Taxi Driver. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time. Text message from unknown. If you're looking for work, I'll call you later. Actually, that is something we can do. We can do those, uh... Always a pleasure. <laughs> we can actually do those, uh, fixer missions. I forgot about that, so it looks like it won't be the last episode. Vodka on the rocks. Solid choice, Nico. Solid choice. Nico. Uh, good to see you. Stay hydrated, y'all. How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. You get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No. Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you. And I'll pay good. Real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No. We've got the history. I know. But this is real. He doesn't know about I that at all. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No, I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people want to whack you. I said no. Now I need you, and I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino, I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. 
Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Yeah, they do. Do it or you and me are going to have a problem. As if they don't already have one. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? <laughs> that special someone, huh? All right, then. Ah. Uh. Now, do I actually have phone calls that I have to give out to people, or... Yeah, there we go, I was thinking so. Roman, I have a problem. You've got the problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on the boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dimitri is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Speak to him very, very later. All right, then. Now, I think the next phone call, like, do I actually, can I give to Kate, or does Kate have to call me? I can't remember. Let's see. Okay, she has to give me the phone call. All right, cool. Because Kate will also call us as well by the time we actually pick a decision, more or less. You make me want to be sick. Make him want to be sick. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna need you, yeah, god damn it, this is the one thing I hate about GTA 4, which, I mean, I get it, I'm not gonna say, like, it's a bad change or whatever, but it's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll rant about it once we're done with this phone call. Hey, Kate, I have a decision to make, and I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico don't need money what is it going to change about your life i don't know it'll make things easier for me and for roman i'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money nico goodbye make your decision the deal or the revenge ending all right then now i was about to rant and say that something i hate about gta 4 is the fact that uh you know when you're trying to go after someone in a car text message from roman nico uh you came to you came to Liberty for penthouses, women, fast cars. Don't throw it away for revenge. Darko uh, did not help, remember. Do the deal, and maybe we can take a private jet down to Vice City. But something I, like I was trying to say that I hate about GTA 4 is you'll try to steal a car, but they won't slow down like they do in GTA 5. And I get that that's, you know, something that, like, someone like me is just questioning because it's, you know, something that I wish was easier about the game. But it is annoying. Now, what I want to say about this ending, uh, well, actually about both of these endings that people actually don't take into account, is the fact that these endings are kind of based on what the other person wants. Now, I'm going to speak about this, no, you know, under the assumption that most people have played this game because it's 16 years old and people, you know, probably have played this, you know, multiple times. They already know both the endings. But the thing that's funny is if you do the deal ending, you know, the one that Roman wants... He is the one that gets killed at his own wedding. If you do the revenge ending that Kate more or less respects and or wants, she's the one that ends up getting killed at the wedding. So unfortunately, there is no real happy ending of the game. But I guess we're going to see. Now, we're going to start off with the revenge ending. Now, how much further is it away? Wow, it's all the way on the other side of the map in Firefly. So I guess the game really wanted you to do the... Uh, Oh, that guy had a concussion and passed away. I was gonna say, uh, I guess the game really wanted you to do that deal ending, or it just made it easier because the money is like right there compared to having to drive all the way across, you know, having to drive all the way across states to figure out where Dimitri is. But you know what? I'm too lazy to make that drive. I am very lazy. But we do need to get something before we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to step out of this taxi real quick. Hold on, let me out, let me out. I gotta get out of here. Let me see if I can, you know, make him stay here, though. If not, it'll be whatever. I can just go find another taxi. It's not that big a deal. 
But uh, we need to actually get armor for this because we're going to do the revenge ending. We got to take out Dimitri's men. And Dimitri's men are very well armed. Very well armed. I got another email from Roman. Imagine the honeymoon I can take on... No, take Mallory on if you do this deal. Come on, do it for me. I am your cousin. See, the game really pressures you to do that deal ending. But don't try anything funny. The game basically is just telling you, like, hey, you can either do the deal ending, you know, and have a lot of money, or you can do the revenge ending and actually have some closure with Nico. And it's actually kind of messed up because, it, you know, it kind of reflects, you know, a little bit poorly on, like, what choices you made when it comes to Darko. It's like, did you kill Darko? Did you get revenge on him? Or did you let him go and just say, you know what, it's time for forgiveness. But it's funny because that just happened and Roman's like, you know what, Roman is literally like, hey, work with Dimitri again, you know what I'm saying, it's just work with him again, he'll give you a lot of money, and you know, a lot, of, a lot of money will work out for you, my cousin. Come on, work with him again. But it's like, come on, man, I thought we just said that we weren't going to do this. But it's kind of whatever. But this revenge ending is a little bit symbolic because I it's taken place on the very same boat that Nico ended up being brought in on. So that's kind of symbolic. The Russians are loading the H onto the cargo ship. Oh, are they now? Now, there's actually a lot of guys I gotta take out in this mission, like a lot more than a usual mission, so it's probably a good thing I bought armor. Dimitri is supervising the operation in the ship's hold. Well, I mean, I don't really expect him to be anywhere else, like out in the open, especially with Nico at his helm. We're shipping it tonight. The doors to the hold are controlled from the bridge. So we gotta go all the way up there. Which is annoying. But you know what? Nico can do it. Nico's Nico. Nico can do it. Find a way to get to Mitri and get your revenge. Yes. Kill every single person. Make your way to the hold. Shoot those guys. Shoot Dimitri. Leave. <laughs> That's the whole point in case theory right there. Alright then. Well. Might as well start it now. What did that guy think he was doing? Shoot me with a deagle. Coming for me, I don't think you'll be coming for anybody of Nico's stature. I don't think so, anyway. You're glad you messed with me. I'll cut off your fucking head. Not so good. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go, Nico. We got to get up to the top up there. I don't give a shit. All right, well, we got to go inside. I'm aware of that. I want to check around back, make sure there's nobody up here that's going to screw me over. I was right to check. <laughs> All right, he's dead. We have some serious problems here. Alright. Let's head up those ship's hold and see if we can get anybody uh, taken care of over here. Alright. 
<laughs> there is an intruder on the ship. You are surrounded. We must hide. How do you want to die, sweetheart? That's a good question. You should be asking yourself that, not me though. You okay there, man? You seem to be freaking out up there. It sure looks like it. Alright, I don't think there's anybody else on the ship's bridge outside that I gotta worry about. What about in here, though? Wow, okay. There was somebody in here. Let's open it, Nico. get to the cargo hold and get revenge on Dimitri. The best words that have ever been said in the game before. I highly agree with those words. Do I have anybody else I need to worry about? Like these guys? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. Got him. You're going to die, friend. I'm going to shut your shit up. Do, 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 do. Excuse me? Keep back, my friends. The fuck did he think was gonna happen? Serious question. Hey man, no place you can go. Again, what did he think was gonna happen? Hey, I got some more ammo and that's pretty cool. Now, what's the deal with all the armor? What about the, the health packs that I might need? You know what I'm saying? Like, what about those? Like, am I just blind and can't see them? I wouldn't be surprised. But again, where are they? I love how I say that. I just find one magically. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. All right, where's the guy on this side of the ship that wouldn't peek his head out for five seconds? Where's that guy at? Gone, I hope. <laughs> Relax, that guy is going to die. Pretty ambitious words from somebody who's about to die. Did that hurt? All right, who else we got around here? Hey, Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, 
It's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. Zatkni этого балтийского хуя! I'm going to... I have been looking forward to killing you for so long, Rastolov! Come on, Dmitry! I'm in to end this! Your ship has sailed, Raskolov. About to learn a lesson. Actions have consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that will be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blat you opponent. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. <laughs> You're fucking a lot of people over by killing me. Notice, I was gonna say, notice how uh, beggy for his life he's getting. Come on, we got history. Fucked up history. Very messed up history. You don't need to do this. Oh yes, I do. For good reason, too. I do need to do this. It was a long time ago that I pissed you off. Forget about it. I'd love to forget about it, but you see, you didn't. So now it's your time. Think about Pecorino. No. He's got nothing without to steal. I don't care if he's got nothing without to steal. Nobody cares about Pecorino. He's a moron. You know, it's not too late. We can work this out. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have screwed me over then, and maybe we could have worked it out. Just saying. Don't do it. You think that's going to be enough to convince me? Uh huh. Friends. Yeah. Okay. Friends. I didn't mean nothing. Please. Nah, you meant something. You meant something. It was never my idea to set you up. It, it was. It was. You're fucking a lot of people over by killing me. I can deal with it. There you go. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, can I just hop off here? Cool, because I don't want to be on that ship any longer anyway. Ah. Goodbye, Dimitri. That's good then, because I didn't want to deal with him anyway. I don't think anybody wanted to. I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money. No hot tubs and models, but Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. You can see how uh, Roman's a little bit mad, like, in his undertone. He's a little bit like, well, I guess you did what you had to do. I mean, he wanted that deal to go down, you know? But unfortunately, we're not ignorant, Roman. Well, we will be shortly, but we're not ignorant, Roman. So we're not going to do... The whole deal ending and have everything fall on top of us. Like, that's not going to happen. You're not going to make that happen. All right. right Taxi! I need to get a suit. we got to go to Roman's wedding. Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. 
Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my mom's. See you soon. Oh, we'll definitely go and pick up Kate. Hold on. Stop. 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 Thank you. I'll be taking the Primo and going to pick up Kate. Kate McCreary. How we doing? Recalculating route. Thanks for coming to get me. You're looking really nice. Shall we go to the church? So, how do sociopaths behave at weddings? We fire a gun into the air as your cousin walks down the aisle? No, there won't be any gunfire at this wedding. I might steal the collection box if the mood takes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll mug any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultraviolence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. How are you about that? Do you miss him? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah. Do you think that that is the answer for everyone, then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not for me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. <laughs> oh, how lovely that conversation goes for how traumatic this wedding ends. Oh, time to preen like a peacock. You've got Brucey. Let's get me married. Little Jacob, Brucey, Bernie, and Roman. All of our friends. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes! <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> but not all good things will end in a good way. The Pegarino came up and shot the wedding, and Kate got caught in the crossfire. Nico, Nico, come on! Somebody call an ambulance! Call a fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh shit! 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 She told me to leave it. I thought I had. I thought it was over. It's never over, Aya. Nico, you can't blame yourself. Of course I can. She's easy, 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 I your oh. man. Easy. Calm oh. down, man. Calm down. Oh. Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Oh. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't worry. We take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. Yep, so because you didn't do the deal with Dimitri, Pegorino's entire 
family, I guess, falls apart. Because of that, he comes back to the wedding in an attempt to k assassinate you, but Kate gets caught in the crossfire because his accuracy is dog shit. Damn! I was meant to protect her. We know, Nico, we know. But it's okay. We're going to settle this. Now, very shortly, we'll have a call from little Jacob here. And he's going to tell us about where one of the boys at the Pegarinos is. Okay, well, maybe it's not a phone call. It's a text message. But either way, let's read it. How's that, Nico? Be strong, Sai. I got to <laughs> I'm going to find this bumba clot. You need to get some hardcore weapons and ting while waiting for me to call. I ain't got my car, or I'd bring them to you. Easy. All right, then. Well, in the meantime, while we wait for a phone call, or at the very least a text message from that... We're going to have Sorry, good man. things happen. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. Fuck you up, Rasta. And I walk with this. One low. One low, Jacob. One low. Man, I love Jacob Jacob as a character, man. Like, I said it a bunch in the beginning of the playthrough, but Jacob is just, like, my fucking favorite character. It's amazing. Whoa! Almost crashed. Didn't want to do that. All right. Now we got to get over here to go see one of Pegorino's boys. One of these fucking assholes. All right, my brother, that blood clot been at the place. And I've been following him for a time, see? Me think him next up at Pegorino. We're going to follow him there, see? Thank you, both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico, and Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it, see him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't want to be late. Hey, baby. <laughs> Damn, these boys tried to peel out of here. But they're not gonna get away. Not on Nico's watch. How do you know he's going back to Pegorino? He's been running around town like an endless chicken in a rasta. Picking up shit, I'm desperate. There's nowhere left for these guys to go. The whole city wants them dead now. Well, I guess I'll be doing the whole city a favor when I kill Pegorino then. The fool thought he could be a big player. This man will lead us there. We'll get him, cousin, I assure you. See him, Bridget. And I'll be after him. You know a boy gonna live another day for this turn. See? A dead man! Dead man! Fuck with the wrong Rasta and Jay. This he will realize soon enough. He'll very much realize soon enough. Now, there's gonna be a part up here shortly where he's gonna change lanes and go into the opposite lane. You don't have to follow him into the opposite lane. You don't have to follow him into the opposite lane. You can stick on this lane. Just make sure you remember where the turnoff is. Which I don't know where the turnoff is. Easy, my brother. He's taking us to Peg Arena. We need to chill. I'm not fucking chill. We're speeding down the highway and who knows how fast. Cars are coming toward us. People are shooting at us. How can you be chill? You've been smoking too much, Jacob. Whatever chill this, this is not it. You said you wanted the help, Roman. You said you wanted to give Peg Arena payback just as much as I did. I did. I, I do want to, but... You know, I, I don't want to die. I have a wife to think about now. I've got nobody now. That's not true, blood. We got Iron Roman, see? Roman just killed that thing. You don't mean what I'm saying. You go and mash up this rascal, mash him up good, see? Roman, that's what you're feeling, don't you? Sure, sure, that, that's what I'm feeling. Nico, I want to get this guy. I just don't think we want to take any unnecessary risks while we're doing that. Roman, the last thing I want is to lose you as well as Kate. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I lost you today. But Roman, I would not let this piece of shit go. He is taking us back to Jimmy Pegorino. He will be taking us back to Jimmy P. Alright, so I did uh, decide to change lanes a little too early. But yeah, you don't have to follow them, like, down this road. The same with the scripted path on the, uh, the deal ending as well. But you just gotta remember that they get off, like, right here. So you do gotta be careful of that. We cannot go much further. We 
must reach Pegarino soon. At least we're seeing some of older I don't normally come this side of the West River. See you know, man. No companies go on either, Auntie. That different city from the rest of the true? I am not taking you on some tourist sightseeing tour. We're chasing a scumbag back to his boss. Then we're going to make that shit and pay for what he did to Kate. Understand? Sure, cousin, sure. Eyes to the front, find on the job at hand and all that shit. You go up and stop swearing on Nico. Me and from Assassin, that Pegorino, we might be hiding in the knob. I'm out of somewhere. Okay, we're making some progress, then. We'll keep on this guy, and hopefully he won't fucking kill us. We'll crash before he leaves us to Pegorino. I'm about ready to see that particular moron. Yeah, uh, me too. And he can tell Roman's very, very worried, like he said, about having to deal with this. But he's willing to help his cousin in any way that he can. All right. All right, and here's the turnoff for the abandoned casino. We need to get down here, take a left. Sweet drift, bro. That totally isn't scripted. We got to go to the abandoned casino. Turn, Nico, turn. Ah, Jesus Christ. Fine, we'll floor it in reverse since you don't want to turn. There we go. He's inside the old casino. We must find him. Alright, let's take out these guys on the roof up here, because I got a special plan for these guys on the ground. A very special plan for these guys on the ground. Hey, you guys want to know what that plan is? Grenade! 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 Alright, looks like I didn't get those guys in the back. You know what, that's fine. Grenade! Boom! I think I got rid of most of them, except for that guy over there. Don't worry, all right? Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna uh. get you help, you hear me? Be a prick. Got him. All right, let me collect all these uh, carbine rifles, because your boy needs ammo. He ain't got no ammo left. At least not a lot of ammo. Little Jacob. I got an escape plan for you, Stog. Keep your eyes on the sky, Senior. You're, you're about to see that. You're about to see the uh, escape plan that they got. We'll get this guy for you, sir. Keep saying that to yourself. All right, uh, Nico, Nico, <laughs> you know, I like you, Nico, but I didn't want you to fall through the stairs now. Just saying. Was not on my bucket list today. Can I even get up these stairs? Probably not here. You motherfucker. Don't think for a second that this was anyone's fault but your own. You could have worked with me and everything would have been gravy. I wanted out, and you killed someone I cared about. It's over for you now, Jimmy. Motherfucker! Chase Pegorino. All right. Come back, Jimmy. Where you going? I'll give 50 Gs to the man Shoot that fuck before he kills us all! Just 
a wound. You want me to finish you off? I'm sick of killing these lackeys. Where is Pegorino? Pegorino, where you going, buddy? Come on, Pegorino. Come on, Pegorino. Stop me from killing GBP. He just flew. <laughs> Chase Pegorino sticking close to the close line, to the coastline. Do not lose him. I didn't plan on it, game. I didn't plan on it. Why didn't you just hit me instead? <sighs> That's how you can tell Nico really cared about Kate. He's like, why couldn't it have been me instead? Wow. Ah, I wonder who's in that chopper up there. I know, right, Nico? Oh. Jumping into the chopper. Ah, oh, come on, game. Don't tell me you're dealing with this bullshit. Roman, I'm trying, man. Ah, shit. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me, man. That fucking bullshit glitch happened. Are you gotta be kidding me? I thought they fixed that shit on console. Come on, man. What the fuck? I thought that shit was fixed on console. What are you talking about? Fuck, man. Come on, Nico, go! Yes, thank you. Jesus Christ, that took 45 minutes. God damn! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy getting Pegorino after doing all that bullshit. That took me 40. Five minutes, just attempt after attempt, trying to do that. It took so much time to do, it was ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh my God, dude. All because this game runs at 60 FPS on the new gen console. And the game won't register you hitting the A button on your controller. Been a glitch that's been in the game for fucking years and Rockstar just never fixed it. Like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. While I very much finish this. Fuck you, Pegorino. You're gonna regret saying that. Jimmy? Uh, screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You wanna know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? 
I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke. <laughs> It's over, Nico. It's over. Cousin. Yeah. You did it. Hmm. Really? I don't know. is the revenge ending to GTA 4 also known as the biggest pain in the fucking ass ever if you don't load this goddamn cloud save file and quit ruining the moment oh my fucking god dude jesus i'm 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 sorry that like i just screamed like you know that pissed me off uh, it's because it did i thought that rockstar had patched that glitch on consoles years ago i knew it could still happen on pc but i thought they patched that shit i didn't know it could even happen on consoles because it's never happened to me on console but i should have known because i mean the game runs at 60 fps on the series x i should have known that you know it was gonna have that shit happen but yeah like I i'm sorry for my outburst but i literally spent 45 minutes trying to do that because i clearly saw that like trying to hit it normally wasn't gonna work so i had to like put my controller like on my desk and just like swipe my finger back and forth because it couldn't work and again there's no way to like lower the frame rate i was honestly debating like going back there like with my hold on with like my console stack back there and just getting my 360 and playing this mission on here because that was like oh man this game has like caused me so much more headache and guess what we got to do it again because on the the deal ending we have to do the same thing again because we have to, uh, we're gonna have to do another helicopter this thing. This is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. It is the victory we long we longed for. And I still got two hundred fifty thousand out of it. Surprisingly, that's something. Very much something. Wow. <laughs> Well, if it's the victory we long for, it's not a very good one. Um, here, don't I have a few phone calls with some people? And let me see if I can call Packy. Yo, I never thought this would happen, Nico. I never fucking thought it. Kate, sweet, innocent Katie. I'm sorry, Packy. I was there. I tried to stop it. She didn't do nothing to nobody. It was those McCreary men who were the sinners. We're paying for that ourselves. She didn't have to pay, too. She didn't, Pecky. You're right. I gotta be with me, my Nico. She don't got much left other than me. And that ain't much. See you, man. It's enough. For your business. See you, man. Danke. See you, Pecky. Alright, let's see who else we can call, if we can call anybody else. I'm gonna call a few. I know Brucey calls on the other ending, but what about this one? Okay, he doesn't... Unless he calls me manually. What about Mallory? Let's see. Because there's some that call on the other ending and some that don't call on this ending. Okay. Well, unfortunately, she doesn't pick up there. Apparently, it would seem that nobody besides Packy calls, which is depressing. I want to see who I, I'm going to go down my list and see of people who I can and cannot call. Of course, after eating the hot dog. Because if Packy can call, then there's got to be other people that call. Unfortunately, I don't have Phil's phone number. I'm bulimic. Can I get who? something greasy? Wow, I don't have any contacts anymore. It's just Dwayne, 
It, it's literally just all my friends. Wow. That's literally it. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Um, if you want, like, a piece of advice for those of you that'll actually be probably playing these missions, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the method that I used to get past that, because I'm just saying, I thought they fixed that. I thought they fixed it a long time ago, but apparently it would seem like they don't, so I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah. But, I mean, it's not like it matters, because I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the ending that we, uh, do tomorrow. Uh, because I've already recorded for long enough. That we, we, we can't fit both endings in this episode. I'm just, it's not going to happen. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hold up. We do have phone calls. Hey, Nico, are, are you okay? Ketchup, yeah, I'm fine. How's married life? It's okay. Hard to be happy when your wedding goes the way ours did. Kate's death was very unfortunate. Nico, don't blame yourself. There's no one else to blame, Roman. It's my fault, because I refused to do that deal for Pegorino. It's my fault because I got close to her. I shouldn't get close to anyone. You should, Nico. Stay close to Mallory and me. We are your family. Mallory is pregnant. If it's a girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, Roman. You'll make a good father. We'll see you soon. Yeah, man. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all the generic crap that YouTubers say to do at the end of every single video here on YouTube. And I, Mr. Emo Raccoon, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.